What's up everybody? This is Danny from TD Fitness. Thank you for joining us for another workout. Whether you're traveling, working from home, or anywhere else where you just want to get another workout in, we got it for you. Hope you enjoy this workout. Welcome to today's bodyweight workout everybody. You won't need any weights at all. You can do this at home, you don't need much space. Okay, my helpers today are Tiana and home. With that said, we're just gonna get it going. We're gonna warm it up, okay? We're gonna start with high knees for about 30 seconds, okay? Just drive your knees up. Don't worry about speed. We're not doing running high knees yet, okay? We're just driving our knees up, getting our hips nice and loose, okay? We're not warmed up yet, so you don't wanna go full tilt. As you can see, Tiana and Hong, they're giving themselves a target to drive their knees up to. That's great. If you wanna do that, do that. Or you can just march, get your arms going. Either way works. Let's go about five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna stretch our adductors, these muscles right in here. You're gonna lean towards one side, you can point your toes up if you want, hold a couple seconds, and then back. There we go. We're not gonna hold any side for too long because we're not doing a static stretch. Okay, a static stretch is when you hold for a long time. We want an active stretch. There we go. And I'm saying 30 seconds, but if you need to loosen up a little bit more, warm up a little bit more, do a minute, okay? Do this for about five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice. Next, we're gonna get our hamstrings, these muscles back here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna reach down, touch our toes, come back up, reach for the ceiling. Again, active stretch. So just down, up, and reach. Now, if you don't have the hamstring flexibility, oh, you should keep going. If you don't have the hamstring flexibility to reach down with your legs straight, just bend your knees a little bit, or just go as far as you can. But we do not want this, because now you're not stretching your hamstrings. Okay? So let's do about 10 more seconds. Touch down, touch up. There we go. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last but not least, we're just gonna go into some squats, okay? Feet hip width apart. Just like we always say, drive your butt back, weight to your heels, stand tall. Try to make sure your toes and knees are aligned. You're not flaring out, you're not flaring in, okay? There we go. Focus on getting low. Don't worry about speed. Nice. Look down. I'm looking down all the time too to make sure my feet's not turning out. There we go. Nice. Good, huh? Good, Tiana. Let's go about 10 more seconds. Everybody just keep moving. Get nice and low. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, how you two feeling? Ready to go, ready to rock? All right, with that said, we're just gonna jump right into the first circuit. This first circuit, we're gonna have six minutes, essentially six exercises. Each one's gonna be one minute long, so you can set a timer, use a stopwatch, use your phone, whatever it takes. We're gonna do a 15 second break in between each exercise. I'll demonstrate and explain the exercises as we move along. We're going to try to do this circuit three times. We're going to go through it, take a minute break, go through it, take a minute break, and then go through it again. Okay? So, give me a second. I'm going to set my timer. All right. You'll hear the bell. First exercise we're doing is an inchworm with a push-up. Okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to start with your body nice, straight, and tall. And what I want you to do is I want you to reach down, put your hands on the floor, walk it out, push up, and then walk it back. All right, so you two can get going too, okay? So, when you're doing this, again, with the hamstring stretch that we were doing earlier, if you can't reach all the way down with your legs straight, just bend your knees, okay? Bend your knees with this one because we're not focusing on the hamstring stretch. We just want to get down without hurting ourselves. Walk it out, push up, Walk it back, okay? All right, we got about 20 more seconds. Let's just keep moving. Perfect. Now remember, can't do a push-up correctly, do it on your knees, it just looks like this. You walk it out, you drop to your knees, you do your push-up, and then you walk it back. That is fine too, okay? All right, you do two and one. Perfect, we got 15 seconds, okay, good job. Next, we're gonna go into a slow, controlled mountain climber. All right, I'll demonstrate during the break. We're just gonna be 
in a plank push-up position, chest out, back straight. All right, shoulders on top of the hands, and we're just gonna drive our knees. All right, let's get down. Too. You hear the bell, let's keep moving. Just like this. There you go, try to keep your head straight, nice and neutral with your spine. Perfect. Good to Nice on. There we go. Mm -hmm. Drive those knees, focus on pulling your belly button. Extend your chest out, just like when you're trying to stand tall. All right, everybody, good job. We got about 30 more seconds. Let's just keep driving those knees up, nice and high towards your chest. There you go, you got the front view. I'm gonna go to the side again so you can see. Nice plank position, drive those knees up. Breathe through, if you need a break, your shoulders are tired, shake it off, okay? There you go. Nice, head up a little bit down. There we go. Guys, nice. we got eight more seconds. Five seconds. There we go. Three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, another 15 second break. Now we're going to the next exercise. We're going to step back lunges for 30 seconds of the minute, and we're going to add a hop up top for the, late, uh, for the latter 30 seconds. Okay, so I want you two to just get into your lunges with me. All right, we're going to turn to the side. Step back lunge with your left leg. Remember, 90 and 90. Just drive up. All right, there we go. Doesn't have to be a perfect 90, but try to get close to it. We just don't want this. This is what a lot of people do. They put the weight into their toes. We want the weight in your heel, upright, drive. Okay, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. As you can see, my toes and knees are aligned. A lot of people turn their foot like this, or like this, we don't want that. Nice and straight. All right, we're at our 30 second mark. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue the same motion. We're gonna add a skip. We're gonna land that skip. Okay, so don't worry about jumping super high. Get up there, drive and land. From the side, you can see this. Up, stick your landing, and then come down. You don't wanna to try to lunge if you're out of balance. There we go. Seven more seconds. Good job, everybody, keep it up. If I feel the burn, I know the legs are trying to burn a little bit. Three, two, and one, awesome. Good job, you two. Heart rate getting up. Uh -huh. How you feeling, huh? Good? All right, so we're gonna just do the same thing now with our right leg going back, okay? Lunges for the first 30 seconds, and lunges with the hop for the next 30. Ready, and go. Nice, just drive up. Remember, toes and knees aligned. Don't kill yourself if you mess up and you turn your legs in a little bit. All right, just look down every now and then. Make sure you're good, and then keep your posture forward. Because if you look down, you're gonna lean forward, all right? There we go. Nice and tall. And approaching that 30 second mark. Good job, you two. Keep it up. Good job, everybody out there. Keep it up. 30 more seconds. Again, try to get as close to 90 to 90 as possible. Drive. Add that hop now. All right. Don't worry about speed. Okay? Pick a pace that you're comfortable with and do that for the minute. The goal is to get through the minute. Not a certain number, not a certain rep range. One minute of quality reps. There we go. 10 more seconds. Fight that burn. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, next thing. We got a Superman T to a push-up. Your T should look exactly like this, a T. Not up here, not down here, out here. Okay, or superwoman, my bad, superman or superwoman. I know we got some ladies out there. So, you're down, all right? You're gonna pop up, hold, squeeze, come down, do your push-up. Same thing, come up, hold, up, push-up. All right, keep moving, let me check in on these two. Good. Nice, good, huh? Nice, good, good push-up, nice. There we go. Watch your hips, don't let them sink. All right, don't jump ahead to the Superman, Superwoman on the way down, okay? Nice. There we go. So down, get your squeeze from here, push yourself up. Tiana's doing it the advanced way, actually. She's adding an extra push-up. If you got it in you, do that. There we go, five more seconds. Good. Nice, these two are rock stars. Awesome, 15 second break. Okay, we got one more in this circuit, okay? I know you're feeling it already. What we're gonna do, in and out squat jumps. 
We're not focused on jumping high, we're focused on getting low. What you gonna do? Hip width apart, you gotta hop out, touch, hop back in. Okay? So let's do that for a minute. Ready? Set, and go hop out, tap, hop in. There we go. Uh-huh. Toes and knees still aligned. Drop your butt down. Alright? There you see. Toes and knees aligned, I'm dropping my butt down. I'm not reaching down. A lot of people do this. They reach over. We don't want that. We want to drop that butt down. Can you check in on these two? There we go. Nice. Try not to point your feet too far, huh? Your feet are pointing out more than your knees are. Okay? There we go. Uh-huh. Drop that butt down. Think like a sumo wrestler, sumo squat. Okay? But 25 more seconds. There we go. Nice from the side, you can see. Dropping my butt down. Try to maintain a good posture. Not bending over like this. Okay? Nice. There we go. If you got it in you, last 10 seconds. Go for the burn. Pick up the pace. All right, in, out, tap. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, that's the first circuit. Now we're gonna take a little break. Use some time to get some water. Wipe yourself off. All right, I'm gonna reset the timer. Yeah, get that water in because that first set, if you're feeling the burn already, these next two sets, you're going to feel it a lot more. Guaranteed. Awesome. All right, whatever you're doing already today, hope this makes you feel a little bit better. Let's keep moving. This is just the beginning. You're going to feel awesome by the end of it. All right, we're going to start the timer again. We're just going to start from the top. We're doing our mountain climber crawl outs to a push up. Okay, this time I'm gonna do all the push-ups with my knees down modified so you can see what it looks like if you have problems with your push-ups, okay? Because we wanna do things right. All right, ready, set, and go. So here's a modified version. If you don't have the flexibility, just bend your knees, crawl on out, drop to your knees, hit your push-up, crawl on back. All right, now keep doing that so you get a good idea what that looks like. There we go. Stand tall at the end though. Gotta make sure you stand tall at the end, okay? Now to the knees, chest to the floor, all the way back up. There you go. We got 25 more seconds. Keep moving. Right, let me check in on these two real quick. All right, good point, huh? Nice. That looks great. Hands off. Uh-huh. All right, we got about five more seconds. Let me get one more set in with these guys. There we go. Awesome. All right, up next, we got our slow control mountain climbers. If you got a towel and you sweat a lot like me, you can place it down. I'm just going to place it down because I sweat a lot. And I don't want to sweat all over the floor. Awesome. Alright, remember, toes and knees aligned. Toes and knees aligned. Shoulder directly above the wrist. That's the most important part. Chest out. So no rounding, no butt up. Right here. Drive those knees. Nice and controlled. Gotta keep that chest out, okay? There we go. Nice. Can I shift the weight forward just a little bit? There you go. Nice. Now head up just a little bit. Chest out. Extend that back. Perfect. Nice. Same thing home. While you're doing this, when you extend your back, Look at me when I stand my back, when I'm standing, your stomach wants to come out. Pull it in tight too, okay? So extend that back, going with the hip stick, pulling that belly button. That is how you stabilize your abs. There we go, we got 15 more seconds. Keep pushing everybody. Remember, this is slow and controlled. Do what you can. If you need a break, drop to your knees for a second. Good, three, two, and one, nice job. Awesome, good job everybody. All right, nice. Now, I'm gonna go to lunges. I'm gonna keep my towel right here just because I sort of lie, okay? Lunges, first 30 seconds, no hops. Next 30 seconds with a hop. All right, let's get it. So just step back, lunge, drive your knees up. We're not hopping yet, okay? Keep your posture forward. Every now and then, do a check. 
All right, if you don't have a mirror in front of you, do a check. Are my toes and my knees aligned? If they are, perfect. Keep your posture up right. There we go. You can drive your arm up top if you like. Good, from the side, 90 and 90, as close as possible as you can get. Okay, there we go. 30 seconds, we're gonna add a hop now. Okay, here, stick it, and then go back down. Stick it, and then go back down. All right, there we go. That extra drive up top, all right, forces you to use your hips and your glutes to fire, okay? Think of a sprinter. When they're in a low position, or a basketball player, volleyball player, when they're jumping from a bottom squat position, it's your glutes that fire. And perfect, all right, 15 seconds. There we go. All right, same exact thing, left leg back, okay? Whew. Let's do this. All right, well, right leg back, I'm sorry, we just did our left leg back. Good. There we go. Nice and controlled. Now, if you have knee problems, I had ACL surgery myself. It took me a long time to be able to do lunges again. If that's the case for you, uh, not ACL surgery, but just knee problems in general, it is very important that when you step back, you keep the weight in that heel. Okay, and here, just go as low as you can bending the knee. What you don't want to do is keep your legs straight and just lunge here. Okay, not doing anything for your stability back here. Even if it's just here, quarter lunges. Okay, all right, sorry, I missed the 30 second mark. Let's add a hop, let's make up for it. There we go, let's drive. Nice, we'll go a little bit quicker because we're a few seconds behind on these hops. We don't want to cheat ourselves. Good, there we go. Five, four, three, two, and one, awesome. Right, we got a floor exercise again, so we'll put my towel down again. Cause I sweat a lot. All right, we're going back to T's, Superman, Superwoman, and then a push up, okay? So we're here, up, hold, push up. Now, if you want to add an extra push up, that is great too. Up, hold, down, push up, push up. Again, that extra push-up is if you're feeling good. Oh, sorry about that, huh? Nice, you too. Forms look good. Nice. Good, John. Good, huh? All right, let's keep it moving. Up, get a nice good squeeze through your scapula, through your shoulder blade. Pop up. Up, squeeze the glutes. Just pace yourself. All right, try to get your legs up high too. Perfect. All right, okay. One more. We're gonna go in, out, squat jump, tap on the floor again, okay? When there's about 15, 10 seconds left, I'll let you know whatever you got in the tank, go for it. Start out slow, pace yourself. Drop your butt down. There we go. Nice. Looking good. You keep it moving with them. Let me see. Nice. Good, good, huh? Both looking good. Nice. There we go. Keep at it, you're gonna look like these two one day. There we go, about 30 seconds left. Just keep moving. Now. If they're jumping, again, like I talked about the lunges, if it hurts your knees to jump, do this instead. Very simple. Step out. Step back in. Step out with the opposite leg now. Step back in. All right, so out, out, step in. Out, out, step in, okay? So if you're not feeling like your knees up to it, just do the steps. All right, last five seconds. Let's go. Drop down, get up. Three, two, and one. Awesome. That's the end of circuit two. All right, take another 45 seconds to a minute. If you're a little more tired, and then we'll get our last circuit in, okay?
。そうじゃあそれは。はい。行きます。はい。で。はい。あ、最終フェイス。You ready? Ready to rock this last round? All right, let's get it. Decide what our inchworms are good. Okay, this last round. I've done the demonstrations already. I'm just gonna do it with them. Okay. Now I'll stop to check in with all of you here and there. Okay, ready? Let's get it. Crawl out. Push up. Nice. Now, for those of you, we show the modification back. Those of you who always are seeking a higher challenge, if this might feel like you could do a little bit more, it's very simple. Add a couple extra push ups at the bottom, okay? So, walk out. All right, hit two push ups, or three push ups instead, and then walk back. There we go. Nice. So, get your three in. One, two, three. That's if you want a harder challenge, okay? But if you don't, or if you can't do that, don't worry about it. Build your way up. The great thing about body weight workouts is you can adapt and make it harder or easier just by simply adding volume or taking away volume, okay? All right, we got about 10 more seconds. Five seconds. There we go. Three, two, and one. Nice job, Drew. Way to work. Okay, next. Slow controlled mountain climbers. All right, main thing. Chest out, back straight. There you go, extend that back. Drive those knees up. Good, make sure that your shoulders are on top of your hands. Try not to get too wide. Okay, bring your hands in a little bit. There you go. Let's shift your weight forward just a little bit. But now, right there. All right, extend your back. Nice. Good on. Way to drive. There we go. Chest out, back straight. Nice neutral spine. Don't stare up like this. Don't stare down like this. Just try to keep everything as nice and neutral as possible. None of us are perfect. It's not going to be a perfect line. But get as close to it as you can. Good. Ten more seconds. Drive those knees. Pull your abs in tight. Suck in that belly button. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Way to go. Nice too. All right, we got our lunges now. Step back, left leg first. Now, if you sweat as much as like me, wipe it up because you don't want to slip. Okay? So I'm making sure that I'm not stepping actually on the sweat when I step back because I don't want to slip. There we go, toes and knees aligned. Good. If you want an extra burn, add a hop the whole time. Okay? We're gonna do the 30 and dirty and 30 to demonstrate. And again, this is our pace. You don't have to match our pace if this is not the pace that you're comfortable with. You can slow it down. You can take your time. Lunge up. Lunge. Up. If you can't balance, add the hop you to. If you can't balance, put your foot down in between. Okay? Just like this. Do what makes you feel comfortable. Right, we're gonna add the hop. Let's go. Nice. 15 more seconds. Let's keep it up, Tiana. Let's keep it up, Paul. Good. Embrace that burn. Three, two, and one. Nice shot, two. No way to go. Them two are feeling good. Hope you all are feeling good. I'm feeling good. Let's go, let's keep feeling good. Ready, and go, right leg back. Drive up, balance, stand tall. Remember, you can't balance, put your foot down. Help yourself stabilize again. You never wanna go into a lunge out of balance, because if you're out of balance, you're gonna do this, and then you're gonna mess up, okay? Get yourself balanced first. There we go. Nice, everybody. Keep it up. Drive those knees. Okay, with your hands, you can do as you like. You can drive up, or you can bring it down. Good. 30 seconds. Let's set the hop. Good. Nice. Let's show you from the side. Okay, 90 and 90, as best as I can. It's not gonna be perfect, but as close as I can get it. Try. Weight to my heel. That's what matters. Good. 
10 more seconds. Nice, everybody. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Nice, you two are almost there. All right, we got our T's and our push ups again. Okay? At this point, probably got the motion down. Let's just get after it, okay? Up, get a good squeeze. Up, turn to the side. Got a little bit on running to each other. Good. Up, squeeze your glutes, hold. Remember, you do this extra push up if you want. If you don't, you come up, you come down, you practice good form hands by your chest, and then popping up. This starts getting hard, third round, go to your knees. That is fine. Okay? Just make sure you don't pop up like this on your knees. There we go. Five more seconds. Nice. Three, two, one. Nice, nice, huh? All right, we got one more set. In and out squat jumps. Then we'll take a little bit of a break before we start our next circuit. Let's get it. Last time you're doing this exercise. Give it what you got. Out, tap. Out, tap. Take a look, make sure. Align. We don't got this, we don't got this, okay? Keep your point out a little bit. It's like a sumo squat. Good. If you can't jump anymore, just take a step out instead. And then a step in. Step out. Step in. Whatever you got. Remember, this is our pace. It doesn't have to be your pace. Your face could be this. Take a breath. Down. Up. Take a breath. Or your face could be down. Up. Find what you're comfortable with. Get through the minute. We got 20 more seconds. There we go. Nice, huh? Nice, Keanu. Last 10 seconds. Let's see who can get more in. Let's go. Go for it. Nice. There we go. Oh, it's close. Three. Two and one. Nice job. I wasn't counting, but they both went hard. They're both winners. You're all winners. Okay, now get another sip of water. Take a little bit of a longer break because we're going to start our next circuit. All right, this circuit is just going to be two rounds, not three. Okay, because the exercises, they're going to be newer to a lot of you guys and gals. So we're just gonna go two rounds. We're gonna focus on form, we're gonna focus on quality, and then in the future, if it feels easy, add a third round. You'll know what to do by then. I'm gonna get a quick sip, I'm gonna adjust this timer, and then we're gonna get it going. So this circuit is just five exercises. So if you're using a timer like me, you only need five one minute intervals. Last one has six, so you just gotta take out one of them. All right, this one is going to get your glutes firing. All right, we're going to start with a left leg down, RDL, okay? Looks like this, from the side. Bend the knees slightly, extend this leg, weight in my heel, tap the floor right in front of me, stand up tall, drop. We'll do this for 30 seconds. If you lose balance, just put your foot down. Back as straight as you can, try not to do this, okay? What helps is extending this leg when you extend this leg, it forces you to extend your back. There we go. Now, that's 30 seconds. What we're going to do now, we're going to add a little hop to the top. Okay? Extend, up, and a hop. Now you're going to feel your glutes firing again. There we go. Just like those skipping lunges. Good. Nice. Nice. Hold. We're going to extend those legs. All right. Extend your back. There we go. 10 more seconds. Up. Hop. Uh, different than the lunges. You're balancing on this one. Find your balance. Good. Awesome. Now, what we're going to do next, first 30 seconds, we're just going to go on your left leg still, calf raise. Okay? So you can see, all I'm doing is coming up on my toes, coming back down. Coming up on my toes, coming back down. 
All right, we're gonna do that. 30 seconds, the first 30 seconds of this minute. If you need a break, just put your foot down. There we go, nice. Or if you don't have the balance, what you do is you do what we call a tripod. That back foot, just keep your toes down, okay? That's it, not your whole foot, just your toes. It gives you a little bit of extra stability that'll allow you to do this exercise, okay? There we go. Hitting that 30 second mark, now we'll do, just gonna hop, just like this. Feel like you jump rope. All right, we're playing hopscotch, okay? As you can see, I'm just on my toes, on the balls of my feet, and I am just hopping. I'm not building anything else, okay? Try to stay in place. If you end up moving around, that's fine. All right, you two feel the glutes burning? You feel it? Uh-huh. Eight more seconds, let's try to get through it. There we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. That's a killer. If you've never done that before, remember me the first time you do it, all right? First time I ever did that to myself, oh man. All right, same thing, right leg, RDLs. All right, you can see, I'm trying to keep my back straight, I bend my knee, weight to my heel, I'm not leaning forward like this, weight to my heel, I'm standing my back as much as I can, come up tall, okay? Stand, and up. Don't worry about speed, okay? Just focus on nice, good form. And balancing. If you can't reach all the way down, Tap your knee, okay? Oh, see, you and I lose balance. Okay, but all right, let's add the hop. If you can't go all the way down, just practice. Tap your knee, come on up. As you get better, you'll be able to extend your leg more, go all the way to the floor, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn straight again. I'm gonna get even, add a hop. Now remember, just go to pace you're comfortable with. My right leg, it doesn't keep up with my left leg. I had ACL surgery a couple years ago, and as hard as I rehab, it's still not quite 100% the same, but I'm working on it. All right. Okay, nice, now calf raises, okay? Same thing like earlier. If you need the tripod, tripod. All right, on just one leg, turn to the back again so you can see. I'm not doing anything else besides trying to balance, coming up on my toes, okay? Just like if you were against a wall. If you need help, tripod it. Okay, tripod looks like this from the side. You're only on the toes and your back foot. So it's helping you a little bit, but it's not helping you that much. Okay, I'm gonna go up, down. I'm at 30 second mark, I'm just gonna hop. All right, 30 seconds, shake it off and just hop. If this is too hard, okay, and it hurts, what you do is just hop, balance, hop, balance so you don't do as many okay but if you can pause your feet like you jump roping on one leg and just keep moving 10 more seconds i know it burns let it burn all right here we go three two and one Woo! all right good job to one more exercise in this set our glutes are burning our calves are burning we're gonna put it all together all right so what we're gonna do Fire feet into burpees, okay? All right, my football players, you know what this is. Three seconds, burpee, three seconds, all right? From the side, back straight, chest out, fire feet, down, burpee, pop back up. Now, let's go through our modifications. Fire feet, step back, onto the knees, pop up. If you can't jump back, remember, step back, Onto your knees, chest to the floor, step back. Okay? Make sure you have enough space behind you. There we go. Nice. Just three seconds. Try to count to three. Alright? Doesn't have to be three exactly, but just try to guess and estimate. Alright? Trust me, even my three seconds are really like one and a half. Ten more seconds. Let's get it. Last one, finish, and boom, nice, get down, good hard. All right, that's the whole circuit, circuit two. Take 45 seconds, get some water, wipe yourself off. We're gonna do this one more time before we get into our finishing circuit. All 
How are you doing? Tired. Yeah? Keep pushing. We're almost there. Uh-huh. If you're tired too, keep pushing as well. Just go slow it down. Remember, it's, a, it's one minute. It's not a certain amount of reps you have to hit. You end up doing five reps in that minute, so be it. That's great. You're moving. You're pushing yourself. You're building strength up here too. Not just here, but up here as well. Okay? Thumbs up, thumbs up. We're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna start with the single leg. RDL on our left leg, you get it with no weight. Weight to your heel, extend your back, okay? And reach. All right, let's do this. There we go, let's go down, tap, drive your knee up. If you're old enough like me, so remember those bird feeders in the mailboxes that people used to have that would like dip down, get some food, come back up, that's what you want to look like, all right? This is my beak right here, I'm trying to get some food. Don't lose balance like I did, okay? Extend, and uh, 30 seconds, we're gonna add the hop now. Up, hop, okay? There we go. As you can see, I'm trying to start this hop from here. I'm not coming up and then hopping, because that's all calves, okay? You want to extend and start from here. Boom, up, even if you don't jump high. That way you get your glutes to fire. Good, three seconds, let's get one more. And perfect, awesome. All right, now we got our calf raises, and then hopping, okay? Let's get it, three, two, one, nice stand tall, find your balance. There we go. And up, tripod, toes down if you need to, okay? If you don't need to, just on your left leg, that's it, okay? What really helps me is I pick a point and I stare at it. Right now, I'm picking the point of my good looking cameraman behind there. All right, I'm just looking at his abs, okay? All right, never mind, looking at his abs threw me off balance, they look too good. All right, 30 seconds, now we're gonna hop. There we go. Mm -hmm. Nice, if you need to, you can hop around a little bit if you need to, nothing too crazy. Cause if you hop around too crazy, you might twist your ankle. All right, but for some people, it helps to just kind of go around a little bit. If you can, just go straight up. 14 more seconds. Nice, Yana. Nice, huh? Fight that burn. Fight that burn. Five seconds. There we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Way to fight, way to fight. Right leg, same thing, RDLs first. Okay, let's get it. Great thing about these clocks, keeps you honest. Tap, and it's off. Legs might be a lot more wobbly now because you're tired, that's fine. Go slow. There we go. Remember, even if you only get three or four in, that is just fine. Hitting that 30 second mark, let me get one more in before we add the hop. Okay, let's add that hop now. Up. Start that hop from down here. Force your glutes and your hamstrings to fire, okay? Find your balance before you go back down. 10 more seconds, I'm trying to get two or three more. Let's go, nice one, nice young. Ooh, perfect. Good job, everybody. All right, calf raises, calf hops again. We got this. Five seconds. All right, ready, set, go. Remember, nice and tall, up. Okay, hands on your hips if you need to. And tripod it like this if you need to. Just on your toes and the back leg. Gives you a little bit of balance if you need. Just straight up. Okay, you really want to feel every part of your calf working all the way up. I'll turn back around, I need to see the time. There we go. 30 seconds. All right, let's go, let's hop. Ready? And go. All right, for these 30 seconds, all right, 
just think about something. Which, what I do, I spell out my name. All right, so I'm gonna go D A N N Y. I'm gonna do it again. D A, I'm gonna do it slow so I don't think about time. N N Y. See, I'm almost there. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Nice, you two. All right. Everybody's favorite now, fire feet, burpees. Okay. Again, if you, I show you the regression by stepping back on your burpees. If you want it harder, mix up your push-ups. Do diamond push-ups, do normal push-ups, do clapping push-ups, whatever it takes to bring up the intensity for you, okay? I'll show you. If I was doing it and went to push it, this is what I would do. Oops. Let me start by my fire feet, I cheated. Front. All right, you can do clapping pushes. In the front instead. All right, whatever it takes to push the intensity for yourself. Remember, the normal push ups, just fine too. 15 more seconds. Break if you need to. Last 10 seconds. I like to push it. Three, two, one. Good job. Way to go, you two. Way to push it. All right, get some water, wipe yourself off. If you use a towel a lot like me, try to keep the side that you're wiping your face with face up so you're not wiping the floor on your face, okay? All right, Whew, let me get to my breath. We're gonna do our finishing circuit now. All right, so that was two sets of that circuit. What we're gonna do, if you're by yourself or with people, doesn't matter. This is a team thing. So if you're by yourself, obviously, the team's yourself. We're each gonna do 30 squat jumps. And then we're gonna bear plank for as long as it took us to do those 30 squat jumps. So you got incentive to do those 30 squat jumps fast, but quality reps first. What we're gonna do, since we got three people, is on the first set, we're all gonna match Hong's pace. On the second set, we're all gonna match my pace. On the last set, save the best for last, we're all gonna match Tiana's pace, okay? So, whoever's, in the, whoever's the one setting the pace, they'll just step forward a little bit so you know the rest will step back. Okay, I got a stopwatch. So the second whoever is supposed to begin begins, I'll make sure I get that time, and that's how we, long we bear point for. So hold you can step up for it a little bit. Just to right there. I'll step back. We're going, you can stay where you are on your side because you don't want to step on my sweat. Uh, just for it. Right, right here. There we go. Awesome. Okay, one, your count. We're going to try to match you. All right, now, squat jumps. All right, you don't need to jump super high or anything. What I want is a nice, low, squat okay so each squat has to be a real squat not this this is not a squat jump we want quality reps got it got it all right we're on you huh we're gonna try to follow you 30 times ready set and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two Three, slow down, down. Four, there you go. Five, six, seven. I get low. Hey, that's why I haven't slowed down. I want you to get low. Twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Not bad. Thirty-four seconds. How long we're gonna bear plank for? All right. Let's go for bear plank for. Tuck through while we're in it. All right. Ready, set, go. If you haven't seen my other video, this is our bear plank. Shoulders align with your hands, hips. All right. Align knees and hips. Try to have 90 degrees as best you can. Extend your back. All right. Your legs are going to burn. Fight it. 
pull your belly button in. We got 13 more seconds. Let's get it. Chest out. There we go. Nice, yeah. Nice on. Both of you guys, bring your legs up a little bit. Bring your feet up a little bit. There we go. Three, two, and one. Nice. All right. My turn. I might go really slow, just on purpose. <laughs> All right. 30 times. Get your breath real quick. You want quality reps. If you're too tired, you're probably gonna cheat, or you're probably gonna hurt yourself. We don't want that, okay? We got time, all right? You're doing this at home. You got time. Somewhere. All right, ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's get it. Eight, get low. Nine, 20, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's get it. Nine, come on. And 30, <laughs> 41 seconds. That was mean, but it was fun. All right, good job too. All right, ready, set, and go. Chest out, back straight, hips and knees aligned. You can make sure, these two. Bring your butt up a little bit, huh? Right there. See how to bring your feet forward, half an inch. Uh, right there, yeah, you got it, come on. Uh-huh, remember, extend your back. There we go, nice. 21 more seconds, we are halfway. Good. It is hard. 10 more seconds. There we go. Five, four, three, two, and one, nice. Awesome. All right. We've got the star of this video coming up. This round is going to be very slow. <laughs> <laughs> all good. We can do this all day, right, huh? All day. <laughs> no, we can't. No, we can't. Go fast, Tiana. All right. All right, let me start the time, okay? So on your count. Ready? Set. And go. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. This is the last set, you gotta go for 40, 27, 28, you like that? 29, <laughs> come on, let's go. 30, let's go, 10 more, one, Two, we're gonna get to 100. 30, 30, 40. Let's go, we're at 32. Eight more. 33, 34, 35, six, seven, eight, nine, 40. Oh my God. 50 seconds. Eric, I'm sorry guys, I'm so sorry. No, that was awesome. You like that? Threw that little challenge like in there. Burning. Uh huh. 50 second bear plank, and then we'll do a stretching session real quick. This is gonna be the toughest one. Ready, set, and go. Last 50. You can do anything, 50 seconds. Ooh, legs are burning already. Uh huh, just drop to your knees if you need to. All right, you see them taking a break? Take that break if you need it. Just drop down, shake it off, I need a break. All right. 21 seconds in. Just hang on. Ah. 20 seconds. Come on, come on, Tiana. Pop that good up, huh? Let's get it, Tiana. Chest out, back straight. Last 10 seconds. Fight it. Woo! Your legs are shaking, mine's are too. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Oh man. That's a full body workout, no weights. Yep. <laughs> you hear that? No weights needed. Awesome, all right, collect yourself. Let's go through stretching, okay? Especially a workout like this, the biggest mistake a lot of people are gonna make, you're gonna walk right out, take a shower, whatever it is, stretch, okay? Right now, your body's warm, muscles are loose, get a good stretch before they tighten up, okay? Right, so get quick some water real quick, Dan. Get quick some water, huh? Just got it ready? Right. Awesome. Oh, man. That was solid. All right. I like to stretch from head down. That way, you know you stretched everything. First thing we're gonna do, stand up tall, okay? As neutral of a posture as you can. Just place your hand over your head. We're going right hand over the left side of our head. We're just gonna pull. With this arm right here, pretend like you're holding a heavy luggage, okay? Really get that separation. So you stretch your scaly muscles here and your traps, okay? So remember, pretend like you're holding the luggage. Nice, good stretch. Hold that. Now we're doing static stretching. Earlier we were doing active stretching. Static stretching, you're holding. It's good to do that after a workout. Three, two, one. Awesome. Other side. We're going left hand for right side. Pretend like I got a heavy luggage suitcase right here. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Hold. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay. Up next, we're going to just bend over and loosen up our shoulders. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're just going to hang. All right. Just let your arms hang. And what we're going to do, we're just going to rotate. All right. Try not to control the rotation, but kind of just let momentum take over. Okay. Your left arm, you can tuck it to the side if you want. Okay. We're just going to go one way first. Okay. Feel your lats loosening up too. Your lats. Okay. All right, let's go the opposite way from the way you started. Remember, let momentum take over. You can see me, I'm drenched, I'm sweating. Three, two, and one. Let's go other side. Same thing. Let your arms just hang. There we go. Nice, five. Nice, yeah. Opposite way. Three, two, and one. Awesome, okay, let's stretch these quads now. Okay, simple enough, just gonna pull on up. Okay, there we go. Pick a spot, all right, stare at it. Something directly in front of you, something on the floor. A lot of people, the floor helps a little bit more because standing upright throws them off balance. If you need to, just hold on to something. Okay, if you need to, okay. Okay, really crank. All right. Try to get that, try to get this heel as close to your butt as you can. I can't quite get it there with this right knee, but I'm trying. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Now left leg. You can see my left leg is a little bit better. I can get it a little bit higher. Okay. But work on both legs. Okay. I continuously stretch this repaired knee all the time to try to get it back to the same side as, uh, to the same thing as this side. Uh, you don't want any imbalances. Just hold. Okay, remember, stare at something. I'm staring at all of you. I'm trying to make sure you're all doing it right. There we go. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna stretch our adductors and our hamstrings at the same time. Let's get wide, okay? All right, just reach towards one side and hold. If you can't reach your foot, Keep your knees straight. Just grab here, the lowest point you can. Don't bend your knees. Now you're not stretching, okay? Keep it straight. Reach whatever point that is for you. There we go, especially you men. A lot of the people I train with men have no hamstring flexibility at all. They end up pulling it. Stretch your hamstrings, fellas. Three, two, one, other side, same thing. 
right, whatever the lowest point you can get to is. See, Holmes, he can't quite get to the floor like I can, but he's reaching, he's reaching for his ankle. All right, Holmes, what you do? Grab your ankle now, like this, and pull yourself into it. Feel that? See, so, even if it's here in your knee, pull yourself into your knee, wherever your lowest point is. I'm pulling myself into my toes. Okay, there you go, that's great. Three, two, one, straight down the middle. Okay, both legs as straight as you can keep them. Let's hold that. Very good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, now we're gonna take it to the floor. We stretch our glutes. Okay. This one's pretty simple. Everybody can do it. You're just gonna take a seat. All right. What you're gonna do? You're just gonna cross one leg over the other. All right. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this leg up. I'm not that flexible here, so I need to work on it. Okay. And you're gonna just try to get that heel up as high as you can towards your chest. You can stretch your glutes. Now, if that hurts. You got knee pain to the medial side of your knee. What you do is you keep your foot down and you just rotate like this, okay? You're pulling yourself, you're pulling that knee into you and you still feel it in your glutes, okay? So I'll hold it like this to demonstrate. Uh, you just turn, look the opposite way. Now don't turn this way, that does nothing. A lot of people do this. Pull that knee into you. Let's hold it. Three, two, one. Same thing on the side. They're gonna demonstrate with the legs up. I'm gonna demonstrate the twist, pull, and turn, okay? It's the same concept. Really focus on pulling that knee towards your chest, okay? And turning, you should feel this. Nice and hold. Let's go, five, four, three, two, and one, awesome, okay. This is my favorite now, okay? This is a hip flexor stretch. I'm gonna show you it from the side, okay? What you wanna do, start on your knees. Bring one leg forward. Think of someone proposing. Took a knee. All right. Now, what you do is you bring your foot one step forward, lean into it. So I have 90 degrees here, but you see how this leg is pretty much straight now? This back leg, reach on up. All right. I'm reaching up with my right arm because my right leg is back. Okay, so let me turn around so you can see. All right. Here, forward, this leg straight. Just reach. Really reach. You should feel it all the way up through your hip flexors. Nice. Feel that, huh? Feel that, Tiana? Nice. There we go. Just hold that stretch. Now, if it starts getting uncomfortable, check it out. All right? Hold that. Let's go. Let's hold it five more seconds. Get a good stretch, people. Try not to lean like this too much. Try to stay upright and just reach. Three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. Same thing. Other side. Start here. Lean into it. You can rest your arm here. You can put it on the side. Either way, just reach. There we go, we'll hold. 10 seconds. There we go. This is a good time to start thinking about your breathing. Okay? Let your heart rate come down. Take some deep breaths. Okay, at this point, you should be starting to cool down, calm down a little bit. Okay? Let's take three deep breaths together. All right? In. Slowly out. Let's go in. One more. In. Awesome. All right. Okay. You got your stretches. You got your workout in. Thank you to Tiana. Thank you to home. Thank you to all of you for joining. All right. That was your body weight workout for today.